hey guys gamers 2 here coming to you again with a weekly report so first off intel's next generation skylake xeon v5 server parts have come out the specifications for these processors are listed as zuba it should also be pointed out that all processors listed on the site are engineering samples as for specs we are starting at four cores and going all the way up to the 28 core sku Intel Skylake brings a lot of new features to the table, and one of those is the latest Perli platform. The new platform also comes with an updated socket. The socket has been upgraded to feature 3647 pins. This is due to support for next generation hexa channel memory and Intel's opt-in DIMMs for faster latency solutions. Overall, Perli will be expanding Intel server platform with a range of new features. Also, according to Euro Gamers Digital Foundry, Naughty Dogs The Last of Us Remastered can run at a native 4K, but will be limited to 30 frames per second. The Last of Us Remastered on Sony's standard PS4 already looked incredible, but Digital Foundry's Richard Lead Better reports that a 30 Hz mode which was included on the remastered edition, now allows the game to run at a native 4K resolution. The only downside is that it will be locked at 30 FPS. The demo that was shown off at the PlayStation meeting earlier this week clearly wasn't running at a native 4K. Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Remastered won't be the only title that will run at a native 4K resolution on the PS4 Pro. Bethesda The Elder Scrolls Online will also be rendered at native 4K. While a lot of de developers have already confirmed that their titles will use the enhanced capabilities of the PS4 Pro, most of them probably won't run at native 4K. Following that, we have the Nintendo NX. Following the official confirmation that the console does exist, the Japanese video game giant has not said a word about what fans can expect from its upcoming next generation video game console. That, however, is about to change. In the latest report, the Wall Street Journal has revealed that several industry analysts have informed the site that they expect Nintendo to release NX details by early October. Since the Wall Street Journal is usually accurate and I tend to believe them, I suggest you still take this as a rumor. I can't wait to see what the NX will be like and I hope Nintendo has something good in store. Also, the Forza Horizon 3 demo will be available next week according to the official Microsoft Store. Microsoft has yet to announce the release date of the demo, but it seems that their store already did the work for them. The demo is slated for a release on September 12th and weighing at 18.34 GB, not that light for a demo. Forza Horizon 3 was officially announced for Xbox One and Windows 10 PC during Microsoft E3 conference this year. From the look of it, a PC demo won't be released, and PC gamers will have to wait until the game's release on September 27th. F lastly, Bioshock the collection PC specs have been revealed on Steam and it looks like a lot of PC players will be able to enjoy the FPS collection. The full specs will be in the article cited below but the recommended GPUs are the Radeon HD 790-70 and the GTX 770. The source for all articles cited will be listed down below. Please subscribe for more next week. Thanks.